back at my local Walmart to show empty pegs. Let's see, we do have some Transformers in. And then not much, not much of anything. This is the Marvel Legends section. G.I. Joe section. Empty, empty, empty. Shang-Chi, nothing but the cheap ones, the bendies, those useless things that no one ever wants. And here's the Star Wars section. Empty pegs, plus some mission fleet. So, yeah. My local Walmart. It's terrible. Well, uh, local Walmart is pretty much always a bust, so uh, let's go into Books A Million. Uh, they normally have a great selection, a little on the higher price side, but uh, maybe they got some new stuff in. Three Pimp Daddy Destros. Two more Pimp Daddy Destros. One movie, Milkwater Storm Shadow. Well, it was nice to see a couple of Storm Shadows from the movie line into uh, Books A Million there. Um, they were $24.99 instead of the uh, $19.99. I will hold off on getting him. Uh, I did see the movie. Went in with very low expectations. Slightly better than I expected it to be. Uh, but uh, they made Snake Eyes an ass. And uh, Storm Shadow was actually a fairly decent guy. So why he's the bad guy, I don't know in that movie. I know why in the comics and the animated series, that's why. But yeah, he was, uh, I'll probably end up picking up that Storm Shadow because I liked that character better than I liked Snake Eyes in the Snake Eyes movie. Back at Ollie's. Uh, I've had some good finds here lately, so let's see if they got anything new. Well, they got more of the G.I. Joe uh, constructor sets, and even these don't look like they'll actually fit a figure. But I'll pick one of them up, and I'll do a test, and I'll let you all know. So I had seen in some other YouTube videos that uh, Wedge Antilles Black Series had been showing up at Ollie's. So of course my local Ollie's did not have it. Also some uh, three and three quarter inch uh, Star Wars figures like a Stormtrooper had been showing up in Ollie's. Uh, but I did pick up the uh, G.I. Joe Fangcopter. I'll uh, piece that together, do a quick little review of that one and uh, see if the figure actually fits in that. Well, it's another day. I'm heading to work early. Decided to get another little toy hunt in, so I am back at Ollie's yet again. I'll also be hitting a Walmart before work and maybe a Walgreens. So, uh, let's see if they have anything. I have had some good luck with this Ollie's uh, relatively recently, uh, so let's see if they've got anything new. Now they finally got the Squirrel Girl in, they got a Han and Chewy, and some Black Series I have not seen. Let's see, we got Dryden, Dryden Boss. 
don't have them, but for, you know what, eight bucks, not bad, you can use them for parts. And some fun stuff. This isn't even the main toy aisle yet, this is just an end cap. Got some more of the G.I. Joe Lego vehicles, the uh, Ninjo Commando 4x4, and they finally got the Cobra Rattler in, but uh, just look at the size of that. That's going to be tiny, that's about like the size of a drone, and no figures can come in it, but you do get uh, two Cobras, Cobra Commander, and a Destro, so uh, that might be worth picking up. And we have a G.I. Joe Flyer thing here for four bucks like one of those old, old type toys. Alien figures, they got some uh, fun stuff in Ollie's again today. I'm gonna try to go slow, make sure I don't miss anything, but I am uh, also looking not just through the camera. I will have to uh, do something about the music that's really loud. Still haven't seen the uh, Wedge Antilles that's supposed to be showing up at uh, Ollie's, but uh, you never do, can tell. Gotta look around. Behind the Ninja Commando, they have the Sky Striker construction set. I bought like the two pack, and I've not put those together because the vehicles look so friggin' small. The Rattler's always been one of my favorites, but yeah, it just looks so small. I mean, even the minifigs compared to it. I have to say, the Fancopter turned out to be pretty cool. I will pick up the Hiss Tank if I can find it somewhere. Uh, the 4x4. Yeah, we'll see. So, yet again, Ollie's. Uh, now, an interesting thing happened. Uh, a gentleman that works there actually asked if I needed any help. I had mentioned that uh, other Ollie's had been receiving the Wedge Antilles Black Series figure. Uh, so he actually went to the back and looked for me, which was quite nice and surprising. And then he came back, said that they didn't have any, but then he remembered a gentleman came in and bought the entire, like, case of Wedge Antilles figures. Uh, which is fine, but, I mean, as a collector, I don't uh, take an entire stock. I'll always leave something for the next collector. At least one. But uh, I guess uh, that's just me. I, I try to help out the community. If other people are hunting for stuff, I won't take the entire stock of something. So, uh, yeah, that happened. All right, well, now I'm here at uh, my local GameStop in Sevierville, Tennessee. I'm um, seeing I'm trying to pick up a game, the Call of Cthulhu game. Uh, me and my girlfriend have been playing lots of games together. We've beaten every Resident Evil game there is, uh, tag teaming. It's been loads of fun. And uh, so now we're looking for a new game to jump into. And we like horror stuff, so let's see if they've got Call of Cthulhu. And, of course, some toys. So, I'm back in my car. They did not have a Call of Cthulhu in stock, but I've ordered it, and it'll be shipped to my house. So, that's a surprise for uh, my girlfriend. Uh, so, if she watches this before it comes in and I let her know, surprise! I got us a new game. All right, now on to Walmart. And here we are back at my local Walmart. Uh, normally they have nothing, so let's see if they've got anything today. And we walk into Empty Pegs, G.I. Joe Mask, Space Jam, G.I. Joe Mask. Some figures, they've got the, the stunt cycles. 22 bucks seems a bit pricey, but I mean, you can use the vehicles for your 6-inch, so that's pretty decent. Useless figures down there that no one will ever want. Hey, let's see what else we got. Some Marvel Legends, Dark Star and Iron Heart. Good again. These things that will end up at Ollie's or Five Below. The missing head thing happens here at this Walmart too, where people keep stealing the heads. Another Iron Man looking there. Made it down to the Star Wars section and it is empty of Black Series or Vintage. Yeah, kind of sad. And moving on, moving on, moving on to more empty pegs. 
jump over here to Masters of the Universe. I finally got a new one. I got the Battle Armor He-Man in. Some of those little guys still have the uh, Revelation Battle Cat. And for you wrestling fans, looks like they got some stuff in. Got some elites. Got uh, the Fiend. Seth Rollins in pink. Karrion Cross. Uh, Roman Reigns. Alistair Black. Liv Morgan. Sid. Not Charlotte. <laughs> All right. You know, some people have been looking for the Undertaker Elite. We also have Becky Lynch. The Undertaker might make a decent custom dreadnought. Hmm. I'll think about it. So it is nice to see some new things, some new He-Man, some new wrestlers. Uh, but the G.I. Joe section and Star Wars section is nothing new. But uh, they have got a few new things in, so that's always a plus to see. I'm back at one of the local Walgreens uh, and about to head to work, so let's see if they've got anything. I'll pick up a stack for work. Occasionally, this, well, this Walgreens gets some fun stuff in. Not today. All right. Well, I'm back at my home. Uh, I only had one show to do today. So let's show you what I got uh, at Ollie's today. Uh, wasn't on the video. Uh, I did find a Moloch, which used to be a Target exclusive for $7.99. Um, never had this figure. Didn't really know anything about it. But $7.99 for a Black Series. Not too shabby. I'll unbox them, uh, stick them on my shelf. I also, of course, uh, you saw in the video, they had a Dryden Voss. Um, interesting character, but uh, yeah. So I um, picked him up, picked up another Iron Man uh, from the uh, Ollie's bunch. And I've uh, got one of these others, and I've already painted him up to be a Cobra Bat, Cobra Bat version 3. So I'm going to start a bat army out of these. Also picked up a uh, Han and Chewy. Always good to have an extra Chewy. And let's see, we got a Lando and some other random dude. So, yeah, not a bad little score. Um, I did not pick up the uh, G.I. Joe Lego set type things. But, uh, yeah, and uh, so don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and uh, we'll see you on the next East Tennessee Holy Hunt. Thank you.